Hi, my name's Jimmy. I'm that guy with the goofy smile. Right next to me is my girlfriend, Virginia. The little furry hairball in the background is Tosh. He comes with us everywhere we go. So where to begin? We're extremely happy in this picture because we had bought a sailboat. The sailboat we bought was a 1979 Dickerson 36 foot aft cockpit sloop. She's a beauty and she was built on the Chesapeake Bay. Little did we know that our whole world was about to change and right probably during this purchase is when the COVID-19 virus started spreading from Wuhan and cases started popping up here in America. Now I know a lot of you guys follow us on Instagram and since this is a brand new YouTube channel I figured we'd take the time to not only introduce ourselves, but to kind of explain where we are with our sailboats. We do own a fleet. We are currently owners of Veracocha, our 1979 Dickerson 36 sloop. Promise, our 1995 Catalina 22 Mark II uh, sloop. And our 1969 O'Day Mariner 2 Plus 2 named Luna. Now the Mariner is currently on the hard on a trailer covered up with a tarp. All its woodwork and interior cockpit wood has all been refinished and re And we have all the material needed for a long that weekend kind of this spring that to kind do a simple material. refit to get her ready to splash. Oh, and I almost forgot our RU3 dinghy from West Marine, which we have registered and ready to put our two and a half horsepower Evan Root on. We're looking forward to having that instead of our little rowing dinghy that we had all last season. Uh, we haven't named her yet, but as soon as we do, we'll let you know. Okay, so where was I? My intent and purpose of this video is to break down all three of the sailboats that we currently own. Um, to recognize our needs and future sailing needs and current sailing needs. And to go over with you our thinking for owning three boats, what we plan to do, how long we plan on keeping three boats, if we are or if we are not. So, um, and just go over the, the specs on each boat, what they draw, how much they weigh, what our plans are, so on and so forth. about from where we're from, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, which is considered the um, Middle Bay area. You have the Upper Bay and the Lower Bay. Um, we hail out of uh, Middle River. We sail in and out of Sioux Creek and Frog Mortar Creek. Um, we are fortunate enough to sail our sailing grounds with practically the I think second largest brackish water bay in the world, one of the largest, and um, it's just phenomenal. Uh, it's not what it used to be, we're all trying and advocating for it to get better. I'd like to do more on my part to help it get better, but um, I guess baby steps and I know we are moving in the right direction, but I know the Chesapeake Bay in itself has more shoreline than all of the west coast put together. We are fortunate to have many creeks, rivers, and um, tributaries spanning all the way up into the upper states. So um, it's just a beautiful place to sail. A um, couple old adages of the Chesapeake Bay is um, three quarters of the bay a woman would be able to stand up without getting her bonnet wet. And, um, that just kind of gives you an idea of the depth of the bay. Um, some of the restrictions that lie with deeper draft sailboats. So, um, but we are we are blessed to um, to be able to sail these waters, and uh, you can spend your whole lifetime exploring all the rivers, all the way down to Smith Island. Uh, I've sailed down the Rappahannock and and up into uh, Calvert Cliffs and Solomon's Island, and then over to Rock Hall and Annapolis. And, sailed up into the Haverty Grace in Northeast and um, I've barely scratched the surface of all the creeks and anchorages you can, you can anchor here and um, it's just we're very blessed um, it gets hot in the summer you need a light air sail 
from about um, late July to mid to late August, you're not going to get much wind. It's going to be fluky. Uh, this last year we were fortunate. We had plenty of good wind all year long, but for the majority of the time you need a light air sail. But um, it, it's, it's a great place to call home. And, um, I, I can't wait to, you know, for the years to come and the opportunity to explore the bay in and out for all it's worth. joining us on our new YouTube channel, One Moon Sailing. I'm Virginia, who you met at the beginning of the video. We hope over the next few episodes, you will get to know us, our intent, purpose, and future goals for sailing on the Chesapeake Bay and beyond.